Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. As per my request from subscribers, I would like to discuss about some basic concepts about debugging, which will be very helpful for a uh, functional consultant to grow the ABAP knowledge. And it's required at least the minimal ABAP knowledge to analyze the issues on our own. As we grow our experience, we shouldn't always dependent on ABAP team. We should always improve ourselves, like simple checking the programs, debugging the things, and find the T codes for any programs. Okay, today in this series, we are going to discuss about the basic debugging which will be required for SAPSD functional consultants. Let's get started. First of all, the debugging means what is debugging? So, debugging is to understand the program flow or else in other words we can say that if we want to identify the reason for any kind of issues like we are getting dump during say of an order or we are getting some unexpected value in the order or invoice and the route has been determined incorrectly in the order shipping point not determined plan determined incorrectly so whatever might be the reason if we want to understand why that happened then we can debug the programs debug means identifying the bug or the nature of the program how it works and who called that program the stack actually stack flow now let's get started so how many ways the debugger can be started? For example, I am going to transaction code SC16N. In SC16N, suppose I want to debug this table, right? That means how many ways that we can achieve this? There are few ways are there. The obvious and the well-known way is to apply the breakpoint with help of slash h slash h means if you click on enter slash h then click on enter in the command prompt in the bottom you see that debugging has been switched on and if you click on execute the debugger will start immediately you see the ABAP debugging is starting so it is loading Let's wait for some time. Now it is saying that session one connected to debugger. Yeah. Now the ABAP has been, ABAP screen has been opened. Okay, in ABAP debugging, we need to know the basic keywords that we need to de will be useful in debugging the programs. So Ideally, we have four options here. You see in the top, this is for single step F5, and this is for execute means F6, and this is for F7 means return, and F8 means continue or execute completely. So let's check them one by one. Okay, so it is F5. Either we click this icon, or in the keyboard, we can press F5. If we press F5, what will happen is that it is saying that single step. That means the code, the, the debugging will happen line by line. If I click F5, see, I am going inside. If I click F5 again, it will go to 74 or 76. See, it is going one by one. And 
so f5 means line by line we can we can debug it each and every line and come to f6 f6 means so it won't execute line by line it will it will execute a program basically a group of codes for example okay let me tell you that one more time if i click f8 go back slash h f8 okay so f5 means line by line if i now you see the yellow arrow mark here that means the program the program is currently on this line only so it is this line only current line so if i press f5 it will go inside if i press f6 means it will go inside see it came automatically here that means f6 means to execute the group of codes group of line of programs at a time so it won't execute one by one okay that is f6 and f7 f7 means return return means it will come out of that program if i click f7 it will come out yeah it will come out right let me tell you one more time slash h enter and click on execute see again i'm coming back right so now this time i'm going to press f7 okay if i press f7 it will it will go back see it came out right hmm. again if i press f7 it will again go back that's it if i press f8 so if i press f8 what will happen is that it will try to stop in the next break point break point means the stopping the code basically right so as of now there is no other break points set in the program so that means if i click f8 it will continue directly no it won't stop anywhere else okay to make it clear let me debug it one more time slash h enter and execute okay so uh, now i'm going inside okay i'm clicking f5 now now i'm here suppose if i apply breakpoint here right so i want to uh, see here i can see there are so many lines are here right okay let me make it okay so i want to so you see here we have several piece of line of code here i don't want to go one by one i directly want to come here okay so further what we can do we can apply a break point so if you want to stop here means line number 90 just in that uh, in that first row column yellow column is the right here we can uh, uh, put a cursor and a click if you click means you see the uh, uh, red uh, symbol that is stop if i f8 now it will come and stop here only okay so f8 see it comes directly here that means f8 means it will come directly if it is not here for example i will come here again i will remove this one now okay to set a breakpoint click here if you want to remove the breakpoint click again it will delete okay so if see there is no other break point set in the program if i press execute then what will happen is that it will execute completely as there is no further break point set so it won't stop anywhere else just click on f8 see it came automatically right yeah so that's the future of f5 f6 f7 f8 let me do it one more time yeah 
so f5 f6 f7 and f8 right but the debugger has been started now now i decided that i don't want to debug it i want to execute completely for example if i so as i said earlier if i apply breakpoint and click on f8 it will come and stop here let me press f8 now see it came here right but i don't want to let me come here again i don't want to come here see if you click on f8 it will come and stop here line number 13 if f8 means come and stop in line number 13 but like this i have kept 10 to 20 breakpoints in the program so if i press f8 it will stop 20 different places but i don't want to stop in 20 places i want just execute all the breakpoints at a time in that case what we can do in the menu click on debugger and uh, you see here there is an option called exit application continuous running that means exit from the debugger and the application should run continuously if i click this it won't stop here see it executed completely right yeah let me do it one more time and that's one thing right so one more option we can see here is that exit close application so if we select this last option means the application still runs no problem at all it won't end it will end only the debugger but here if we press exit close application the application also will be closed application here in the sense the program for sc16n that will also close and it won't display any data if i click this one then you see the difference here it will asking do you really want to exit the application i will click on yes yeah it's done now right we came out so one more way so suppose i click on slash h now now i now, now i decided that don't no i don't want to debug now you see debug switch on now i want to switch off now itself how can we do that there's one uh, command slash h x you see now the mode was operated from the debugger and the debugger was closed that means now the debug won't happen right okay so the first way to debug is by using the command slash h and enter if you don't enter means it won't work okay enter to activate the debugger this is one first way second way is to uh you can go to the menu system utilities you see the multiple options are here debug the screen debugging app debugging system so most of the times we'll be using debugging app only if you want to debug any screens that time we'll go with screen options if you want to debug system we will go with system but as of now slash h means debugging app okay yeah see it has been turned on now i will turn off now slash h x it has been turned off slash h is first way and system utilities debug app is second way and third way is that if you know the program then we can directly go to sc create here you can select the program whatever you we need for example i select this mv for apps etc okay i can go inside and i can apply breakpoint wherever i want let let that program loads okay i am going here so i can apply breakpoint here i will click here i will click here i will click here okay this is the third way and fourth way is to go to sc at in sc at also we can apply the breakpoint for example we can see one object here right click execute and debugging right there are four ways slash h system utilities and sc38 program or sc at here 
right click execute and debug it so these are the four ways that we can debug it we will discuss more about uh, debugging in our next session thank you so much